This is the OK State Sports Report on the Triple Play Sports Radio Network. Now with all the latest on the pokes, here's Jordan King. Happy Monday, and let's get you caught up on everything that happened this past weekend in OSU Athletics. Cowboy Baseball got out the brooms this weekend and kicked the Texas team while it was down. Longhorns coming off a home series loss to K-State, and OSU pummeled the Texas pitching all series long. After hanging 15 runs on them Thursday, OSU put up another 10 and 11 on Friday and Saturday, respectively. Carson McCusker coming back from illness and drove in 10 runs on the weekend, including 6 on Friday night. McCusker on if his approach is any different with guys in scoring position. No, just the same thing, just trying to trying to go up there and know that I have to uh, just come through for my team. Marks the second straight Big 12 series, scoring 30 points plus runs for the Cowboy baseball team. They'll pick it up again at home tomorrow against Oral Roberts. Before Cowboy baseball finished off that sweep, fans could go take in what was, according to coach Mike Gundy, a very beneficial day for football. The offense, though, had a turnover during the scrimmage period, something Gundy says it did not have in a scrimmage earlier this spring. Gundy on cleaning up what hurt them last year. Last year we got hurt at times turning the ball over and we were penalized. And so we've worked hard and and hopefully we're, we're better in those areas. We'll continue to work in August. It's tough to beat a team three times in a season that was the message from women's tennis coach Chris Young on Saturday. The Cowgirls slipped up and were upset by Kansas, the number three seed and host of the Big 12 championships. The Cowgirls lost the doubles point and could not finish off the comeback, losing 4-2. Cowboy tennis fell in the semifinals to number eight Baylor after a huge upset of number seven TCU on Friday. Both Baylor's men and Kansas's women beat Texas to win the Big 12 championships. Chandler Rogers had himself a weekend. He started his senior level career with a gold medal finish at 79 kilograms at the Pan American Championships. He went 3-0 and including a 51-second tech fall and a pin in the championship match. After losing in the team competition to Auburn in the semifinals, Equestrian bowed out of all four discipline competitions before the semifinal round. And in track and field, Sinclair Johnson is the new number one for the 1,500 meters after running a four-minute, 13-second race at the Cardinal Classic. That qualified her for the West Regional. Jacob Fincham Dukes also won his event and moved up to number 13 in the country in men's long jump. For the Triple Play Sports Radio Network, I'm Jordan King. This has been the Oklahoma State Sports Report with Jordan King. For all the latest in cowboy and cowgirl sports, stay tuned to your only home for sports talk with an orange flavor. The Triple Play Sports Radio Network.